Hello friends, welcome to today's guide on Romanos Park and how to get every legendary available in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Swing in game, we are starting out at Sagam Town um, and you want to head south, but this goes without saying that this Romanos Park is only going to be accessible if you complete your Pokedex and you have beat the Elite Four. So completing the Pokedex just requires you to have seen all 150 Pokemon. You don't have to catch them all. And once you've done that, you kind of come to Sagam Town. Uh, you speak to Professor Rohan. You get a special visit from Professor Ork. And Professor Ork will then refer to Romanos Park and advise that you go and visit it. There are a few NPC characters along the route that are going to make it a little bit tricky for you to uh, to get there pretty quickly. It does cut down your time of course. So here we are and um, we want to just scoot past this little NPC character here and we are on the land and you just want to follow this path all the way through all the way there's a honey tree there if you want to slather it up and you want to just follow this route and here we are here is romanos park and it is that simple to get to i'll show you on the map where it is and you can see we are down located in the kind of the southern region of the sino region so um this is romano park once you are here you want to head inside because this will then activate a cutscene with professor oak so once we're inside uh professor oak approaches us uh he tells us about the uh, grand underground exploring down there and revealing new treasures and this will lead professor oak to giving us chain counter so you're going to be able to use this when you are doing your pokemon radar kind of shiny hunting we'll get to that in another video so there's the the shiny counter app and um he just says that he'll be returned to eterna city so he'll be popping around there i wonder if that'll kind of link up with maybe a logs Oak's letter event later on in this playthrough. So after this cutscene has played out, you're going to have two NPC characters behind the counter here. One of them will sell Pokeballs, um, so that and just standard items that you would be able to get at normally any other Pokemon. But the NPC character to the wards the bottom is the interesting one here and the one that you're going to want to be using a lot more of the time and this character sells slates. The first slate that you're going to have available to you is the discovery plate. Now the discovery plate um, is going to allow you to get access to the Reggie Trio, Reggie Ice, Reggie Rock and Reggie Steel um, and you're going to need to purchase these with Mysterious Shards. Now Mysterious Shards are a very rare object they are obtained in the underground you can only get these objects by mining in the underground and like i say they are pretty rare so it is again going to be down to chance with you just mining a bunch and hopefully coming across them they look like this there's two variants there is a small mystery shard and then there is a larger mystery shard this is the both the variants i'm going to just show you examples of these on the screen now of me mining for them and you use these to exchange for these slates now once you've got your mysterious shard, shards you're going to need three small mysterious shards for one slate and one large mysterious shard for a single plate now you're going to need three slates to get the first three pokemon which are the reggies um, each slate corresponds to a single pokemon encounter so once you have your mysterious shards you're going to want to enter romanos park at the rear of the of the building um, and then there'll be these kind of cave systems dotted around this area now you enter the first one here and this is the the reggie cave or the discovery cave as as it'll be kind of named um what you want to do is just walk up to this pedestal here click on it and it will ask you if you want to insert a discovery slate you say yes and it will engage the first kind of uh, encounter with this this cavern uh, the first encounter is going to be reggie steel and then it's going to be reggie ice and then reggie rock after that so a good idea at this point is to always save because if it goes wrong then you are gonna have to complete the elite four again and that is a huge task to do uh, you kind of want to avoid having to redo the elite four wherever possible really especially if you're only into or like fresh into your post game and just a prerequisite before going into these legendary battles if you don't want to use your master ball or if you've already used your master ball uh, it is a good idea 
to stock up on a bunch of poker balls obviously you will be saving before these legendaries but because there are sequences of them um you're gonna have to kind of if you catch one you're gonna have to save before the next one so whatever amount of poker balls you've used on that previous one you're gonna be kind of depleted but obviously um if you are short of money check out my money guide or money farming guide that we've got up on the channel right now you can earn up to three million polka dollars in just one hour of your time so do check that out i'll be linked in the description I'll put a card up as well for you to uh, check that one out and um, so now you have to go through reggie steel once you've caught it um you will then be presented with a statue in this area and the same can be said for reggie rock and reggie ice now once you've caught the three reggies and got their statues you will then like i say uh, unlock a number of other slates for the um for the area you're going to unlock the next ones are going to be the johto slate um the soul slate and the distortion slate so if you've got a copy of pokemon diamond brilliant diamond you're going to unlock the johto slate if you've got a copy of pokemon shining pill you're going to unlock the kanto slate so the kanto slate in pokemon pill will give you access to to Moltres, Articuno and Zapdos in Pokemon Diamond, the copy that we're playing, it will unlock the, the legendary dog trio, uh, Suicune, Raikou and Entai. And then the Soul Slate will unlock Latias and Latios, so you can get both of those in the game and the Distortion Slate will access the kind of distortion room where you're going to be able to fight uh, Giratina in its alternate form. So as you see, if we purchase the, the Johto Slate, we're going to have to purchase three of those to get all three of the, the dogs. Um, and then we also need the Soul Slate and the Distortion Slate. So once you have kind of complete the Johto Slate or the Kanto Slate and the, the Soul Slate and the Distortion Slate, um, you're going to unlock an additional amount of slates. But it is worth noting with the Distortion Slate, you're going to have to have caught Giratina first in game before you're able to actually enter the distortion slate and catch it in this area in romanos park so you're going to have to go to turnback cave and you're going to have to catch giratina in the wild before you are able to come to the distortion room and then catch giratina so just make note of that and also because you have caught giratina in the wild area when you go into the distortion room as you can see here when you try and attempt to catch giratina in its alternate form in the distortion room you're going to be unable to actually capture it it's going to be level 100 you're going to have to defeat it and that will just grant you the access to the Gyrius orb which obviously alters its form in game so out of all of the legendaries in this kind of area you're the only one that you're not going to be able to catch at this point is Giratina because you've already caught it in game so once you've caught Raikou, Suicune, Latios, Latias and you've encountered and defeated Giratina you're going to open up the remaining slates that you have available which are going to be the oceanic slate which unlocks kyoga gives you access to kyoga the tectonic plate gives you access to groudon the stratospheric slate which gives you access to rayquaza the genome slate which gives you access to me too and then the rainbow plate in brilliant diamond if you have shine and pearl you're going to get the squall plate so the rainbow plate gives you access to the rainbow room and that will give you access to catch portal like you're seeing right now and the squall plate will be the same but for shining pearl and that will give you access to catching lugia and they're the kind of version exclusives uh, between the two the two variants but everything else is pretty much the same excluding the the, the johto um legendaries that are exclusive to brilliant diamond and then the kanto legendaries that are exclusive to shining pearl and just for clarification we've got a really nice graphic here provided by carfa 97 over on twitter uh, they provided the clarification of kind of slates rooms and the pokemon that are available in the each individual title so you're going to have the discovery plate this is available over both variants of the game you're going to have the reggie rock reggie ice and reggie steel in pokemon shining pearl you're going to have the kanto plates which are the articuno zapdos moltres and then in brilliant diamond you're going to have the johto plate which is raikou entai suicune both games are going to have uh, access to the soul plate which is latias and latios uh, you're going to have the rainbow plate in brilliant diamond which is ho -Oh, uh, the, the version exclusive there and then you're going to have the squall plate in shining pearl which is the version exclusive lugia for that one and then in both games 
means you're going to have access to the Oceanic Slate, which is Kyogre, the Tectonic Slate, which is Groudon, the Stratospheric Slate, which is Rayquaza, the Genome Slate, which is Mewtwo, and the Distortion Slate, which is Giratina. And it is worth noting as well, there are still some legendaries with undiscovered encountered methods. So this could mean we're going to get uh, more slates in future, which can be added to the game through various methods, mystery gifts, and so on. But for now, these are the slates that we have available and the legendaries that you can access in Romanos Park. So this is a quick guide on Romanos Park. It's a really nice post-game feature to be able to get kind of all of your favorite box art legendaries if you would like to in the game. So you can as well shiny hunt for these legendaries so you can save in front of them and then you can kind of soft reset to get them in their, their shiny forms if you've got the patience to do that. Uh, you, the, the hardest part about Romanos Park is visiting the underground and mining for the mysterious shards because it does take a long time and you're going to have to be doing then pretty extensive stretches unless you get very lucky and you get a bunch of them very quickly so um, I would suggest probably hopping online to do the underground and mining the underground because you're going to get probably better payouts that way and you're going to have players that will be able to kind of assist you with your kind of mining while you're down there so the mysterious shards are the kind of the, the entry point to this to get the slate but once you've got the slates um, you're going to be able to um, to use them to get the legendaries and each legendary is only catchable once per game so you're going to only need one slate per legendary now once you do defeat the legendaries you're also every time you exit the 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 kind of the, the main park area the npc character at the door will give you a statue in correspondence to the legendary pokemon that you've caught and then you can take these statues and then decorate your secret base in the underground which is a pretty nice feature as well so you're going to get these legendary statues um which is a nice added feature uh, to commemorate you catching these legendaries so friends i hope you have found this pokemon guide useful it has taken a long time to actually get the mysterious shards that i need to to get into uh, each of the respected kind of rooms to get these legendary pokemon so it's not going to be a quick step to do it and it will just depend on how many mysterious shards you've got access to and if you can buy the corresponding plates as well and then you've got to add on the top uh, of being able to catch the pokemon on in the game which can take a little bit of time i would I definitely recommend having a false swipe user uh, status condition as well something like sleeper paralysis really good to kind of slow down the legendary pokemon and just make sure when you are entering the room with the uh, the legendary before you engage in the battle just to save it at that point because it can go wrong they can you know it's difficult if you haven't got the master ball you can throw copious amounts of uh, pokeballs ultra balls at them and they're still not going to be captured because they got such high capture rates so you're going to just want to make sure that you do save before that point so if it does go wrong you can just reset it you're not wasting place you're not wasting mysterious shards either because they are extremely difficult to come by have a great rest of your day thank you so much for tuning in let me know if you've been able to catch any of the legendaries yourself in romanos park yet and if you plan on doing any shiny hunts for them in the future so have a great rest of your day friends thanks so much for tuning in as always and i'll see you all for another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye